Adventure, intrigue, mystery, romance, starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. Together in the sultry setting of tropical Havana and the mysterious islands of the Caribbean. Bold Venture. Once again, the magic names of Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall bring you Bold Venture and a tale of intrigue and mystery. You can't tell much about Havana from a boat tied up at the waterfront, me long, especially at night. But you like Havana. It is a strange place. But to one who has lived her life in China... All other places are strange. It won't be that way for long. There's a little bit of all the other places in Havana. Mr. Shannon. All right, I'll get your suitcase, Milo. Oh, no. Oh, no, that is not it, Mr. Shannon. It is the other thing. Why did Sam Chu have me brought here to Havana? You mean you don't know? I know only in Shanghai a letter came to me from Sam Chu. A letter with money. With instructions. Then a man came with more instructions and took me away from Shanghai. Why, Mr. Shannon? If I'd known you were in Shanghai, I might have brought you here myself. What manner of man are you, Mr. Shannon? I run a hotel, I own a boat. I meet freighters somewhere in the Caribbean. Because I have a client named Sam Chu who's in a hurry to see a girl named Mi Long. Hello! Anyone aboard? Yeah. Is your name Slate Shannon, sir? That's right. Good. Excellent. Come aboard, Mickey. We'll talk to Slate Shannon. How do you do, Mr. Shannon? Say, what is this? What do you guys want on my boat? Let me hold the gun, Mickey, so Mr. Shannon can see it better. Good. You did that very well, Mickey. And you, young lady, how do you do? Mr. Shannon, who are these men? The lady asked the question. We're friends of yours, Mr. Shannon, and hers. The closest friends you have in the world. Don't you think so, Mickey? (laughs) Mickey can't talk. He just agrees with me. Don't you, Mickey? (laughs) You see, what did I tell you? Now that I know who you are, off the boat. You hear that, Mickey? He wants us to get off the boat. (laughs) To pick up the thread of the conversation, Mr. Shannon. What we want is the statue. The Quan Yin, the lady brought with her from China. You know what they're talking about, Mi Long? I have brought nothing from China. A suitcase. That is all I brought from China. Does that end our conversation, close friends of mine? Mickey and I think the Quan Yin is on this boat, Mr. Shannon. Don't we think that, Mickey? <laughs> well, then ask Mickey where it is. With my holding a gun on you, you say that? Say, look now. Go ahead, Mickey. <laughs> well done, Mickey. Easy, easy. There'll be other times, Mickey. Mr. Shannon will not disturb us for quite a while. So, young lady, where is the Quan Yin? I do not know what it is you want. Search the boat, Mickey. Start with the suitcase. Now, let us assume, dear young lady, that the Quan Yin is not aboard. Where did Mr. Shannon stop this boat and hide it? Do not touch me with your hand. It offends you, my dear? Yes. Yes. You slapped Zender. You slapped Jeffrey Zender. That's most unfortunate. (gasps) Most unfortunate. I detest killing. Now I'm afraid, dear young lady, your body will be washed up upon some shore and someone will wonder why. King Moses? Yes, Lady Sailor? What's that you're playing? Waiting type song. Waiting for Mr. Shannon type song. 
You are mad. King Moses will have melody written in stone so it never dies. Thanks. How long have you known Slate? Longer than you. Longer than anybody. Anywhere. How long? Since many years. In Port-au-Prince, I see man walking on waterfront. A man. I sing song. He asks my name. I ask him. We attach ourselves each to the other. And it's been good? With Mr. Slate Shannon, it's the better than anything. That's how it is, King Moses. What's that kind of music for? Chinese girl, Slate's bringing back? No, Lady Sailor. We are about to be honored with the celestial presence of Mr. Sam Chu. He looks like he's just stepped out of a Chinese finger painting. Looking for me, Sam? Oh, Princess, your exquisite face brings tears of delight to the unworthy eyes of Sam Chu. Hi, Sam. I bow to the fragrance of your beauty, Miss Gale de Bar. Your presence lends enchantment to Shannon's place. Where is Mr. Shannon? He hasn't come back yet. Mr. Shannon told me he would have my cargo here at precisely this hour. In a matter of this nature, Mr. Shannon has been a man of the precise second. Oh, don't worry about it, Sam. But what is the nature of this matter? Slate never told me. It is a matter of bringing a girl from Shanghai. Well, this I already know. But does your wife know? <laughs> Unfortunately, I am not blessed with a wife. However, of the girl from Shanghai, she brings with her the fabulous Kuan Yin. Kuan Yin? A statue. An idol. That's more important than a girl from Shanghai? Far more. Kuan Yin is a goddess. Priceless. Wondrous. I have made a girl suffer the ravages of a journey from China. The terrors of clandestine flight to bring Kuan Yin to me. When Mr. Shannon returns, have him bring the Kuan Yin and the girl to me immediately to the house of Sam Tu. Thus, I end the delight of your presence. Likewise, I'm sure. Bye, Sam. King Moses. Yes, Lady Sailor. That waiting for Mr. Slate Shannon song. Play it some more. All right, Lady Sailor. Uh-uh. That doesn't do it. You go to dock to wait for both to see what that does, Lady Sailor. To see what that does, King Moses. Uh, lie still, uh, Slate. It won't hurt so much if you lie still with your head in my lap. Uh, he was good, wasn't he? He went over me real good. Who? The man who was owned by a, another man who owned a gun, he... I... Uh, I told you it would hurt if you tried to move. If you want anything, I'll get it for you. All you have to do is touch my hand. You know about pain, huh, sailor? Not like yours. Other kinds I know about. Like what? If I ever tell you, throw me away. What happened to you, Slate? Why did somebody try to make you over? Well, they thought we had something called the Kuan Yin. Me and the girl. Hey, where is she? There's no one else on the boat. Sailor, they'll... Wherever they've got her, they'll... Oh, don't think about it. They've bruised your mouth. Give me a day and I'll have it like new. There's another remedy, Slate. Hmm. Wasn't bad. Remind me to get some. I'll remind you. Help me up. You must be out of your mind. When am I going to get another chance like this? Help me up. Ah, thanks. You're welcome. Goodbye, Slate. Ask for me at Shannon's place. Maybe I'll be there. Come back here. You're crazy like your father. My father was crazy to will me to you when he died? What else could he have done with me? He could have turned you over to decent people, to safe people. People who don't get beaten up or go on Sunday picnics, walk in a park. Hmm. You're stuck with me, Slate. You hate it? You didn't answer me. Do you hate it? I'll think about it. Come on. 
Put your arm around my shoulder and I'll take you back to the hotel. Uh Uh-uh. We call on Sam Chu. But Slade, you're hurt. You can't go... We call on Sam Chu. Tell him I messed up his mission. To ask him why I did. Anything you want, Slade. To ask him why he hired me to pick up me long. Why she disappeared. Why a man beat me up for a statue I didn't have. I can steer a fine course to the house of Sam Chu. Just keep the arm around my shoulder. You have come about Sam Chu? That's right. Both of you? The two of us. That is strange. Where is Sam? Please come in. Your face it has been hurt. His face has been hurt, but he still wants to see Sam Chu. You may call me Tamar. Flay Shannon, this is Sailor... Miss uh... Duval. You are strangers to the house of Chu? I've never been here before. I know Sam pretty well. He never mentioned... Me? There is no reason why he should. I am in his employ because of my knowledge of antiques. What about your knowledge of a girl named Milong? Milong? A Chinese girl? Girl I picked up from a freighter and brought to Havana. A girl who's disappeared. On the radio as I was driving here to Sam Chu's, I heard of a Chinese girl. Well, what about her? Only that she was found in Havana Harbor, freshly dead from a bullet wound. Could this be your Milong? I got a feeling this could be our me long, Slate. Yeah. Take us to Sam Chu. You must understand. When I returned here a half hour ago, I disturbed my employer not at all. This is a lady with a message, Slate. Do you get the message? No, I don't. Then you are not of the police? I call them. Police? Please. In this room... There. There on the floor. Sam. I know what. You're going to tell us he's dead, aren't you, Tamar? Precisely. If you can bear to look, there is a silk cord about his throat. Isn't that unfortunate, Miss Duval? To Bold Venture, our stars Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, and the second act of our story. Quite a sight, huh, sailor? I've never seen a Chinese funeral before. Sam Chu and Me Long. Sam Chu and Me Long. It was one of the toughest things I ever had to do, sailor, identifying Me Long. She was that lovely? That lovely. Light some more firecrackers, sailor. Firecrackers to keep away whatever spirit she wants kept away. Money thrown in her coffin to pay her way into whatever paradise she wants. A paradise that's watched over by Quan Yin? Yeah. What's there about a Chinese goddess? What's there about a statue that makes people dead? Sailor. Sailor. Look at her. Yeah. Tamar. Tamar in a mandarin robe like... Go ahead, say it, Stace. I'll agree with you. Like an enchanted princess. I'll see you, sailor. Where are you going? To join the funeral. To get a princess to tell me a story. Slate! Hey, wait for me, Slate! A fascinating and pathetic spectacle, don't you think? What? Oh, that's right. Fascinating and pathetic. Who are you? If you don't mind, I am Jeffrey Zinder. I don't mind. That's your problem. And you are Miss Duval. And I am Miss Duval. How did you know? Merely because the late Sam Chu pointed you out to me one day at Shannon's place, and I have never forgotten. Oh? You knew Sam Chu? Quite intimately. He was my business associate. Uh, Would you care to join me in my own private manner of expressing grief over Sam's death? All right. Yes, I would. Sam's shop is just a few doors down. I'd like to see how you grieve when a friend dies, Mr. Zender. 
I noticed it was difficult for Mr. Shannon to tear his eyes away from the lovely and exotic Tamar. Do you know her? Only slightly. Here we are. This place looks as if Sam collected all the loot in China. Spurious loot. It's all fake. Will you sit down? Thanks. Now grieve, Mr. Zender. I want to watch. These statuettes you see on the shelves, all plaster. Mass-produced for the tourist trade. In all this rubbish, nothing so delicate or so desirable as a Kuan Yin. Tell me more about this Kuan Yin, Mr. Zender. About it? About it is that it's worth perhaps a quarter of a million dollars. Oh, and there's nothing so delicate and desirable as a quarter of a million dollars, is there? Quite. What is your theory as to where the Kuan Yin is? Why should I have a theory? I'll tell you why. A Chinese girl sails half around the world with a fabulous idol. Mr. Shannon is to deliver her to Sam Chu. She's killed. But suddenly she doesn't have the idol. Why doesn't she have it? How do you know all this? For a reason. I killed the girl from China. I see. Of course you do not see. Else you would tell me where the Kuan Yin is. Where is it? I don't know. Will you tell me, Miss Duval? I can't tell you. I don't know. As you wish it. Mickey! Mickey, come in here. Ask her where the Kuan Yin is, Mickey. Be gentle. But firm. I knew you would come back to me, Slate Shannon. And we both knew it, didn't we, Tamar? I saw you when you were watching the funeral procession. It was a very long funeral, and all the time your eyes were on me, as they are now. You find me desirable? An understatement, Tamar. Guy wants a lot of things. Some of the best uh, are marked don't touch. I am not fragile, Slate. I will not break. You may touch me. Anything you say. You see, I am not an illusion. Here, I will show you. Yeah. I see what you mean. It is said the goddess Kuan Yin could kiss a wound and make it vanish. The image of her is believed to be just as miraculous by some. It is a pity she has been lost, is it not? Yeah. Maybe if Kuan Yin went so miraculous, the girl I picked up at sea, Mi Long, would still be alive. And Sam, too. This Kuan Yin, does it kiss away dying tomorrow? If you gave her to me, gave me the Kuan Yin. What makes you think I've got it? Because a man like you, it would have been simple to steal from Mi Long. <laughs> yeah, it would have been, but I didn't think of it. Also, she didn't have it. Now it's your turn again. I don't believe you. I don't believe... Besides the miracles, how much will the Kuan Yin bring in Yankee dollars tomorrow? The Kuan Yin image is a symbol of the tears of Mother China. You're having her as a desecration. Ah, where did all the gentle go, Tamar? Look, if I had the Kuan Yin, maybe I'd give it to you. That would make us pals again, wouldn't it? You and me and, and Mother China. Get out. Get out of this house. Your presence is insulting to the memory of the dead. Yeah, yeah, we almost forgot about that, didn't we, Tamar? Get out! All right. Some other time, huh? Mr. Shannon, he taken his boat on ride Two fellas on deck in shadows they hide no beef they call lotion can start to erase the bruises they bumped on Mr. Shannon's face. Mr. Shannon, he what was... What time is it, King? Miss Sale is not back for five hours already. I didn't ask you that. No, you didn't ask me that. Where could she be for five hours? In Havana. In five hours in this Havana, you get on again and live again. Oh, she's never been away from me this long. As long as she's been here. Lucky fellow, you, Mr. Slade. So beautiful is Miss Sailor. She... Look, Mr. Slade. Yeah, I see him. 
You want something, Chico? Por favor, yo quiero, Senor Shannon. Now, my name's Shannon. Oh, bueno. Un hombre, uh, a man, he, he said to come here to this place and find Senor Shannon. All right, all right. What man? What did he want? No sabe what man. He, he say go to here, this place, and tell Senor Shannon like this. Quan Yin. Quan Yin? Si, si, Quan Yin. He say also, bring it. He say, bring it to shop of some chew. He say, Senorita Duval. Now, what did he say about the Senorita? Not, uh, the Senorita will be there, that is all. What man told you all this, Chico? Uh, I do not know. What man? <laughs> what man told you this? Uh, I do not know. I do not know. I, I swear it by my mother. I, I do not, Senor. Un hombre on the street, he tell me to... Okay. Okay. You did all right, Chico. Open up! Open up! Mr. Shannon. Where is she? Where's Mr. Val? Come in. Come in. You're very prompt, Mr. Shannon. I asked you something. I asked you, where is she? Ask politely, Mr. Shannon. This gun at your stomach says, ask politely. Come. Mr. Val is in the back room. Through this litter of Sam Chu's vulgar tourist art... Through beaded curtains. Also vulgar. Mr. Val. Mr. Shannon. You all right? Just untie me, Slate. These ropes keep doing things to my wrists. Oh, they're bleeding. They're... No comments. Just untie me. Sure. Not quite so fast, Mr. Shannon. Not quite. You forget two things. One, this ugly little beast in my hand. Two, the exquisite Quan Yin. Oh. We barter, huh? I give you the Kuan Yin, you give me Miss Duval. Precisely. The man strikes a hard bargain, Slate. Yeah, yeah, I remember. He's got a hammer named Mickey. Mickey will trouble no one anymore. Oh, he'll be washed up on the beach like me long. Exactly. As flotsam. Or is it jetsam? Jetsam. I never can remember the difference. And now, Mr. Shannon, now that we've touched gloves, the Kuan Yin, please. No, you, uh, you just don't understand how it's going to be. First, I release Miss Duval. Then I take her home. Then you get the Quan Yin. You didn't bring it with you? I left it at the hotel. Why, I'll... I'll... No, you won't. You kill Slate. No Quan Yin. You hurt a hair on my head. No Quan Yin. Isn't that how it is, Slate? If he hurts a hair on my head? Maybe you need time to think it out, huh, Zender? Tamara and I have waited this long. We will wait an hour longer. Oh, you and Tamar. Who wound the silk around Sam Chu's throat, Zander? You, Tamar? I only asked because it was so professional. Thank you. I did. It was necessary. So I did. Sure. Sure. Just as a matter of curiosity, how much is the Kuan Yin worth? A quarter of a million dollars. <whistles> hey, uh... You come expensive, sailor. Real expensive. Almost as expensive as... As this. Fool! Take your hands off me. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Try me. Now you can untie me, Slate. Yeah. You did good. Yeah. Now let's go, sailor. Wait a minute. Look, over there in the corner. A shining statue. Like something lighted inside. Hey, what do you know? It's the Quan Yin. Quan Yin. It's beautiful. Oh, no, leave it alone, sailor. It's beautiful. And it kills Sam Chu. Leave it alone. It must have been here all the time. The oldest trick in the world. Sam has something valuable, so he covered it with something cheap. Plaster. Like all these other phony plaster statues. If it hadn't fallen off the shelf during the fight, it would have been lost forever. And the whole business, the girl from China, all of it, a little Chinese play staged by Sam Chu to trick whoever else wanted the Quan Yin. I'll leave it there, sailor. Let's go. To Tamar? To Shannon's place. The cops can have Tamar and the Quan Yin. You sure you don't want to go see Tamar? 
To Shannon's place. You coming, sailor? Take the wheel, Slate. All right. I like this. Night, moon, trade winds, boat. You ought to like it. This boat cost me a lot of money. I paid half, remember? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's what I said. You, you, you paid half. Take the wheel, sailor. What's the matter with you? I'm in pain. My mouth hurts. Take the wheel. All right. Hurts bad, huh? Awful. Take the wheel. All right. Slate. Yeah, sailor? Hey. Hey, who's got the wheel? Be still, Slate. What can we run into in the middle of the Gulf Stream? And so our two stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, have brought to a close our latest Bold Venture story. Special music was composed and conducted by David Rose. May we invite you to listen again next week at this time for another exciting adventure starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall together in Bold Venture. (laughs) 